Hey, what's up everybody? This is Corey from My Two Cents bringing you a video a review on this on night 32 gig a USB drive and actually talking about how to expand the storage on this Galaxy S6 Edge Plus or really any device that doesn't allow you to upgrade the storage with a micro SD card slot. So basically, Note 5, S6 Edge, S6 Edge Plus, regular S6. So we have two things here. We have a USB OTG cable. Uh, that stands for On The Go. And the device needs to support this functionality for this to work. But really anything newer than a Galaxy S4, uh, this will work just fine on. We have this on-night USB drive here as well. You can see that uh, one side is a micro USB, one side is a full-size USB. Uh, so really this would go on the computer. And then once you've transferred your files, this would go in your phone or vice versa. Uh, so I want to talk about how to make these function on a completely stock Android device. Uh, really we're not going to be using any additional software to make this work. Uh, so really plug this in your computer, transfer the files, movies, things like that, and then put this micro USB into the bottom of your phone down here. Go ahead and just plug it in real quick. And you'll see that it turns red showing that the device is reading the USB drive. And you can see now that we have our file system here. This is automatic, it just plugged in, I didn't download anything just to happen. And backing out, you can see that this actual USB storage is listed as USB storage A. And if you open up your settings, you can see that we have a USB mass storage connected. And just like your computer, safely remove it, go ahead and click this, and then you'll see it'll remove and basically uh, detach itself from the device, and you can remove it without having any corrupted files. Uh, so this is a way you can actually increase the storage. This is a 32 gig S or USB drive. And right here is the My Files on a Samsung device. We're just going to go ahead and plug it back in again. You can see what it looks like once we have it plugged in with the file system open. Whoops, I clicked a link there. There we go. There it is again. Now one thing that's pretty cool with this also is you can actually play video straight off of the USB device as well using the built-in video player function on your Android device. And so this isn't actually on the phone, this is uh, coming from the USB device. Now really, the reason why I bring this up is if you're traveling, you know, you want the, some movies to watch on an airplane or in the car or something, this is an easy way to gain a lot of storage to your device without taking up a lot of room uh, for pictures or things when you get to your destination. So now if you do want to transfer to it as well, you can do that uh, just by selecting what you want then choosing the more option. You can either move or copy. I'm just going to choose copy. Choose your USB storage and then just hit paste here. And it'll copy these from your phone onto the USB drive, which is pretty cool. Uh, that way you can free up space on your phone if you want to uh, as well. Now I haven't had any problems with this USB drive, it's been very reliable, it's been pretty awesome. Um, Onite isn't a brand that I've necessarily heard of a lot, but uh, so far this thing's been flawless. Now I do have this USB OTG cable, and now the reason why you would use this is if you have an SD card uh, with a SD card to USB slot, you could use your existing SD card as well and plug that into a USB drive, or you could also get a SD card to micro SD adapter and plug that straight into your phone as well. So if you have one of those from your S5 or a different phone, you can use that as well. So here I just went ahead and plugged it into the cable and you can see it's reading just like the prior portion when I plugged it in. It's got the same name, USB Storage A. And really this is a great solution. I know there's a lot of people out there who've uh, been upset about the non-expandable storage. I haven't really noticed too big of a deal. Um, but if you're getting a smaller storage option of these, fo these phones, this is a pretty economical way to actually get this updated. I'll put all the links in the description down below. Yes, they are in the description below the video. And really, this uh, USB device is like 16 bucks uh, for the 32 gigs, so you'll save yourself a lot of money. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions from the comments, found it useful, hit that like button. As always, I appreciate you watching, and I hope to catch you on the next one. Thanks.